hi guys welcome back to this channel and from the last time that we posted a video the channel has since grown we're almost at 800 subscribers and i am so grateful so from the bottom of my heart thank you thank you thank you for sharing our videos for sharing this channel for subscribing for being here the notification gang thank you thank you thank you your support means so much to me so today's video is a solo video obviously my husband is behind the camera and today i'm going to just be sharing my pregnancy must-haves my pregnancy essentials the things that help me go through pregnancy well easily smoothly this is my third baby if you're new here so i've been through pregnancy completely twice <laughs> and this is my third we are halfway there so number one the first thing that i have to share is the book that i love to read before conception and during pregnancy it's called the supernatural child birth so this book was written by a lady called jackie mize i believe she's american and she just tells the story of her pregnancy and delivery journey and what changed for her so she teaches you how to pray before you conceive how to pray against miscarriages generally how to pray for this whole season of conception pregnancy and delivery and i feel like reading this book has really strengthened my faith especially with regards to labor and how i experienced my pregnancies i remember the time i discovered her book i was already pregnant with a liam but i learned how to pray and i spoke into what kind of pregnancy i wanted I remember saying I didn't want to fall sick and I can testify that for all three pregnancies I haven't fallen sick I prayed that I would have a smooth and normal pregnancy and delivery and it's been just that so reading this book has grown my faith and showed me that showed me that these things are actually possible we just have to speak them into existence okay number two is folic acid and omega-3 so before I conceive if they're planned is <laughs> is i swallow folic acid and you you can consult with your gynecologist it's good to prepare your body for that season because pregnancy takes a toll on your body and it's good to prepare your body for that season now for me i have been either pregnant or breastfeeding since 2018 so for the consecutive pregnancies after my first you find that i'm swallowing pregnant care because i continue to swallow pregnant care while i breastfeed so those pregnancies will find me already swallowing pregnant care which has all these nutrients and micronutrients that we need for a healthy pregnancy and i feel like those have really helped and strengthened my body consult with a gynecologist he will advise on what you should swallow but prepare your body be intentional on that three is workout this one i didn't know before my first baby but i learned with my second child so with, uh, with my second child Hanella, we i was working out i was eating healthier i made sure that i lost weight to to the to the point where my body is healthiest and that was such a an easy pregnancy for me and an easy delivery for me compared to my first so make sure that you are at a healthy weight make sure that you are healthy even throughout your pregnancy so keep active eat healthy um, try and eat foods that are rich in calcium so eggs broccoli milk products milk and its products uh, google the rest <laughs> but find things that are rich in calcium that also strengthens your body because you know while you're pregnant bones are moving there's more weight onto your body your pelvic so eat foods that are rich in calcium How, make sure you attain a healthy weight um this is if if you're actively planning but if it finds you already there try and stay active if you if you're not able to work out maybe walk but stay physically active so number four is share butter or share butter oil so you know with pregnancy there's a lot that's happening with your body and one of the things that changes is your skin and sometimes you feel like your skin is really taut while your belly grows or dry so something that i experienced with hanella starting with hanella was that my my lower body like from my thighs to my legs 
would really itch. So I asked my doctor, what's this? And he said, you know what, those are hormones. There's nothing that I can do to prevent it. Just endure until, <laughs> until you're not pregnant anymore. And truth to it, after Hanela was born, my body stopped itching. But with the itching, my legs turned dark because I was scratching. You have to scratch the itch. So now with this third pregnancy, I've felt the itch, but it's not as bad as it was with Hanela. It's just on the lower part of my leg and of course it's starting to turn dark and also my belly something that i love to do while i'm pregnant as soon as i find out even when we're just like six four weeks <laughs> i rub i rub shea butter on my on my tummy and while i do that i pray so i do it in the morning when my skin is still wet from my bath and in the night when i've had my evening bath and my skin is still moisture moist from the bath so this is something that I have discovered. It's called Tata African Share Oil. And this is Golden Sands. It has a scent, but they also have one that isn't scented. Guys, this thing is like liquid gold. It's like liquid gold. It moisturizes, um, improves appearance of scars, stretch marks, aging skin, sun damage. So if you're the kind that will want to sit by the pool, while you're pregnant this is great because it improves the appearance of sun damage and dryness etc so if you're pregnant this is an oil that i would highly recommend so i rub that on my belly while i pray over that baby i pray for what i want them to be what i want to see what i want my pregnancy to be like what i want my delivery process to be like i speak all that twice a day <laughs> and i feel like also that builds your faith yeah as a mom it builds your faith number five is self-care at home so this one i have just implemented in this pregnancy it's something that i discovered that i needed to do about six weeks ago um you know now we have two toddlers so by the end of the day as a mom my energy is completely done so now you can imagine what it's like at the end of the week and I'm facing a new week. I have work to do, I have a home to run, I have children to take care of and a husband to take care of. So something that I've incorporated into my routine is self-care Sunday. So Sunday, once the kids are in bed, I have a self-care day in the bathroom. I will exfoliate my skin from top to bottom, my face, my body i have exfoliating gloves so i take my time and do that i use a shower gel like i really take my time i remember getting out of the bathroom just this past sunday and my husband my husband asked what have you been doing <laughs> but i feel like that resets my mind relaxes my body when i come out my skin is so soft and i just feel so good um so take the time to take care of yourself whatever that looks like for you. For me, it's that I light a candle, watch something, and just take the time to relax on Sunday. So by, by Monday, I'm good. I'm good to face another hard week. <laughs> Number six is while I'm pregnant, I try and make sure that I eat a fruit a day. Okay? A fruit a day. I don't even know what magic is in that, but... You're getting your nutrients, you need vitamin C. Your immunity when you're pregnant is lowered by the pregnancy, so you need to boost it. So a fruit a day, be it an orange, an apple, pieces of pineapple, banana, eat a fruit a day. That's my advice for you. Number seven, number seven, drink at least two liters of water. This is something that I have done with Eliam. With Eliam, I was drinking five, six liters of water. With Hanela is doing the same with this baby I am drinking a little less because I don't have the time to sit down and drink so I'm drinking about three four liters a day on a bad day so when I'm able to I'll do six liters that's if I'm thirsty and what what the weather looks like but hydrate so at least two liters of water a day it will do you so much good okay number eight when you're sleeping when I'm sleeping, I sleep mostly on my left side. Um, I don't know the science behind it, but they advise that when you're pregnant, the left side is the best side to sleep on. If someone knows the science behind it, please tell us. But I know that it helps even while you're in labor. 
sleeping on your left side and then doing like a child's pose bringing one leg um, you fold it a bit towards your chest not too close but towards your chest that position helps open the cervix <laughs> number nine take your prenatals take your prenatals i know this is difficult especially for for the people that go through um what's it called puking in the in the first trimester and or throughout the pregnancy i know it's it's difficult but try your level best to take your prenatals these are good for your body and they are good for your baby so for me what i take is pregnant care and i also take omega-3 which is fish oil because it has a lot of micronutrients that my body needs and that helps me that's something that I do, that I love, and I believe that it contributes to how my pregnancies go. Number 10. So there's an app on App Store or Place Google Store called YouVersion. It's a, an online version of the Bible. What I love about it is the plans, the Bible plans and devotions on there. So even when I'm not pregnant, I use the app. I search for marriage devotionals. I search for work devotionals. So while I'm pregnant, I search for pregnancy baby related devotionals. So um, many of the ones that I do teach you how to pray through pregnancy, how to pray through labor, how to prepare your mind for that stage and all that. For me, I like to be intentional, guys. You know that I love to be intentional about everything and that app really helps me so you don't have to go to the store to buy a devotional if you're not able to they are readily available i love first of all that you can search for specific topics so um for the people that have lost babies and you're trying to navigate that season you can search miscarriage and there'll be devotionals that will encourage you through that season next my favorite pregnancy apps there's an app called ovia pregnancy and the other one that I like is Baby Center. The reason why I love Ovia Pregnancy is how easy they, they put out the information. It's so easy for me to follow. I love that um, there's a little section that shows you your, the size of your baby's palm and foot through every week. That's my favorite part. Like I keep touching the hand and, and imagine those little fingers around my finger. It's the best. They tell you the size of the baby in comparison to fruits or vegetables, or you can decide what you want. I just love the flexibility of the app. The next is Baby Center. I love that it is detailed, gives you all the information, and it carries on even after the baby is out. So I still get updates from Liam's pregnancy. I still get updates from Hanela's pregnancy, and I just love that. Next is an app called Lil Pix. So I'm the kind that loves to document so you find that for Eliam and Hanela, for every month, like every milestone, every time they made another month, I took pictures for the first year of their life. It allows me, after I've taken my picture, to document that this is month six. Maybe I can put the milestones that the baby has hit in that month, whether they have a new tooth or they started crawling, whatever it is, I absolutely love it. So I use it for the first 12 months of my baby's life. Um, last but not least is my pregnancy pillow i'll just insert a picture of it guys especially after week 20 sleeping becomes so uncomfortable you your hips my goodness so i love my pregnancy pillow it's one of my treasures of pregnancy so if you're able to get one please get yourself one if you're not able to you can prop yourself up with cushions put cushions between your between your legs here in front like where the belly is getting heavier and for your back to support those are my pregnancy must-haves my pregnancy essentials the things that make my pregnancies easier and more bearable and what i love especially with the apps is that it they also because they're showing you the stages at which the baby is at you're able to pray into that like you know that at this point maybe your baby is organs or heart is growing and you're able to pray into that or your baby's brain your baby's hands fingers whatever it is hair 
you're able to pray into that and for me i'm all about intentionality so even in pregnancy we start to nurture our children while they're still in the womb that's it for me tell me what are your pregnancy must-haves what are the things that you love is there something that i mentioned that you also love did i leave out something that you love please let me know it's not too late for me to learn thank you guys for watching don't forget to share subscribe Join the notification gang and bye!